Hey guys, me, oh, Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. So, we're going shopping today. We're going to go on another awesome toy hunt. And I want to bring you guys along. A little bit different this time because I'm going to narrate the whole time when I'm there. So, you're going to enjoy that, hopefully, in my narration and talking. So, hope you enjoy that. It's not just going to play music and stuff. It's a little bit different. So, let me know what you, your feedback on all that in the comments. But, we're going out. We're going to go to Leeds. We're going to see if we can find some new Marvel Selects, some new WWE Elites. We're going to look for the new Black Series. <sighs> Got some good stuff coming, guys, and I wouldn't want you to miss it. So, watch this video. It's going to be fun, and the haul's coming at the end. Let's do this. Welcome back, guys, to another Super Sorrel Toy Hunt video. Look, we finally got it down in price. It's the Boba Fett Han Solo 2 pack for just $9.99. But now with Han Solo right around the corner, I'm thinking about skipping that one. As I think we'll probably get a better one later on. All the same Black Series though, no new ones. Tons of Kylo Ren and tons of Rey on these shelves. $23.99, they're going to have to discount them to shift those. Moving down here, we've got some new Lego-y stuff. But that's pretty much same old, same old, nothing new there. Oh, they've got a big cutout of Ray and Finn. That's kind of cute. Not into Ninjango, let's skip that. Moving down here, I'm sorry about the jerky camera. Super Sorrel has a bit of a limp. But here we are, the Roblox, and they've got a Neverland collection, which caught my eye. Didn't pick it up, though, but it is awfully cute. But a lot of people go on about this Roblox, I'm still not sold on it, so if you're into it, sell me on it in the comments below. Look at the Five Nights at Freddy's. Ooh, scary. There's Foxy. Lots and lots of Foxy. You can never have too much Foxy in your lives, guys. Tons of them, but no Ballora's, sadly. Oh, we got some new Harry Pottery ones here, but I'm looking to see if there's any chasers in the cupcake section. Is there one back there? What's that? Uh, nope. Not a single chase. Let's have a quick look at the bonnies, make sure there's no... No. They had another purple uh, Freddy back there, but nothing in the chase department. Let's just reassemble that aisle there. Oh, flick those across. What else we got back here? Plenty of Chica, but again, no chasers. And no chasers in the Foxy department. Someone call Five Nights at Freddy's and get those chasers on order. Nothing there. Let's keep on hunting for Star Wars, Marvel and DC. And here we are at the Justice League bit. Nothing new though, which I'm surprised at. Toys R Us are still stocking the same waves. Plenty of Groots to shake a stick at. Toys R Us exclusive, but can't shift those bad boys. Ooh, look who I found on the shelf. Ooh, it's Shuri. And I bet you're wondering why I put her back. It's because if you remember two videos ago, I got her. Dig, dig deep. Nothing new. Still no Electro. Lots of black cat, they're gonna have to discount those a lot more than that. Uh, plenty of Groots, I'm looking up high, Hawkeye! Nope, still don't want that one though. Nothing new here, they've still got the Guardians of the Galaxy Old Wave there as well, the, the uh, smaller figures, they've got some Batman animated adventures there. They have some good characters like Bane in Toys Arrows, so if you need Bane, go pick him up. They still only got Wave 1 of the Justice League, though. It's so annoying. I'm still on the hunt for the Cyborg and um, Flash from that wave. Looking Spider-Man Homecoming and Thor Ragnarok. Civil War and Ultron still on the shelves there. And here we're looking at some 3.75 inch Yodas. Again, they're trying to get rid of those two packs. They've got too many... Might pick those up if they drop a little bit more in price. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait because they're, they're going to heavily discount Last Jedi products real soon. With Han Solo around the corner. Ooh, onto the WWE and there's Rich Swan. Sasha Banks, the boss herself. And she looks quite good, actually. I'm not digging that face sculpt. They could have done better on that. Oh, look at you. It's your boy, Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Big up to Grim there with the Brock Lesnar, yeah. It's your boy. 
homage to Grimm again by going put em up, put em up. Okay, moving on to the Brickheads and some Legos. I'm still not bothered about the Star Wars Brickheads. I've collected a couple of them, but the Rey and Kylo ones, there's nothing new. There's no reason to pick them up. Ooh, although this might catch my fancy. And they've got a Joker one back there too, Harley Quinn, and a Joker set. It's just a shame they're £8.97. If they dropped like a fiver a piece, I'd probably go for them. Might wait till there's a deal on. Lots of minions, mayhem, goodies, Star Wars mini heroes, more Justice League, but this time in Asda. So it's the exclusive looking ones, and the only one I think looks any decent is that Aquaman one. Ooh, the Mistress of All Evil, another Disney book has come out. They're not bad books, you know, they're not bad. Oh, the mutants are out in force here in Forbidden Planet. I've already got those, though, are heavily discounted in Tesco's. And look, it's a wall of Marvel Select. You can't go wrong as well at just twenty-two ninety-nine each for every single figure on the shelf. Well, each. <laughs> I wish they were for all of them. Legends, these are quite old waves, though. Nothing new, although they do have the X-Men wave in, but nobody I'm looking for. They've got the big Colossus there in the Select. I'm tempted. And they've got the new Daredevil. Very tempted, the Netflix version as well. Don't know what made me put it back though, it definitely didn't catch my eye enough. If anything, I was actually looking for the Punisher. I believe they released the Punisher, but he didn't seem to be anywhere on those shelves. Ooh, Spawn. I haven't read a Spawn comic since I was a kid. Love me some Spawn. Ooh, here we on to the DC, the dark side of the comics most people call it, but I love it. Supergirl there in the Icons collection, or designer series, sorry. We've got some nice, got, uh, the Arrowverse characters here. Gotham. What else can we find? Some Arkham figures and the Batman Animated Adventures. There's still a few I need from that collection, but I'm not paying £20 each when they seem to get discounted to about 11 in about a year's time. They've got the Watchmen on the top shelf, but they don't have the Comedian, although they do have Rorschach, so I might be tempted. But definitely want yeah, the comedian. Lots of Stranger Things goodies still going down here at Forbidden Planet again, waiting for prices to drop. Don't pay full price, guys. You they do drop in price pretty fast. This is the sale section, aka Nightmare Before Christmas stock left over from the Christmas holidays. They do have the Harley Quinn um, Living Dead doll on the top, but I'm looking for the Exorcist doll actually at this point. I might get the Harley Quinn one at a later date. Lots of Alien on the shelves, though. Some nice Alien figures here and some Predators. Look, here we are, onto the pop vinyls. And my father was trying to rush me out of the store, but they have the exclusive Annabelle. I do like me some Annabelle. They have lots of goodies here. Some good ones I've never seen. They have The Rock! The Rock is in the building. Yeah, you can hear me talking in the background there. I do apologise. Ooh, HMV now. Time for the HMV. They have an exclusive Groot there, but no exclusive Black Panther ones. Um, seems we keep missing the chases and exclusives. Now for the regular stock here at HMV, and they do have a couple of the Shining Pops. I do want to collect all the Shining Pops, but they've gotten none there that particular catch my fancy for the price tag, so I'm going to wait a little while till Amazon have them for like £9 and £10 a piece. Fourteen ninety nine is a little bit expensive for a pop that's only worth a tenner. Oh, but look at this for a bargain, guys. Doctor Strange Marvel Legends 2-pack. The 3.75-inch figures. They don't seem to have Star-Lord and Yondu, though, but they do have the Astral Doctor and Doctor himself for just nine ninety nine. Moving across here to Game Store, and they've still got some discounted goodies to be had, including mugs and plushies. And other stuff for gamer fans. What is that? A Fallout 4 VR candle? Mmm. Smell the sewage of the nuked world. <laughs> Why would you want a candle that smells like Fallout 4? It's radioactive. Put it back. Can't be good for you. Guys, this video ran on way too long. I'm sorry it ran so long. So the whole video will have to come tomorrow. Uh, I didn't realise how much footage we shot today. So real big apologies about that, guys. But tomorrow you'll see the awesome haul, and it is 
awesome. I've also had packages delivered from in-demand toys, Kapow Toys, and from Amazon for all the toy stuff. So make sure you tune in tomorrow to see what I picked up from this day's haul. Sorry to have had to do it in two parts. I just didn't want this video to be over 30 minutes long. So apologies, but I hope you're going to enjoy tomorrow's haul video. I enjoyed shooting today's video for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your feedback in the comments below. Let me know your feedback on everything in the comments. That'd be really awesome. Guys, thank you very much for coming. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel. Please, if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. It really supports us and helps us out. It helps us keep making these awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time, may the force be with you. Bye.